fun time. Hey, Chris. How you doing? I'm good. Are You're you? up next, so get on the on the stage right now, please. Uh, You guys never seen this before? I have. I have. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Oh, this should be fun. I was actually worried that that last guy was his first time up. And uh, I was kind of worried whether he was going to be funny or not, but he really pulled it out of his Valentine's Day card at the end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, I've been uh, listening to a lot of Taylor Swift lately. Does anyone listen to her much? Oh, no. <laughs> Here's the thing. I feel like all Taylor Swift music should come right at the end of a romantic comedy or right at the beginning of a slasher film. <laughs> like, everything about her music just says, I am happy and blissful and gleefully unaware that he's holding an axe. <laughs> Like, I think every album she has should just be called Welcome to Crystal Lake. <laughs> Her boyfriend was a werewolf, though. So. <laughs> um, uh, that's, that's very fair. Not quite funny, but it's fair. No, true. Uh, true. I didn't say it was going to be funny. Fuck you guys. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. People, people get really critical when they talk about music nowadays. Like, man, this generation's music sucks. And my attitude with that is, look, this generation's music sucks, but at least it makes sense. You know, I mean, compared to my generation's music, like, I feel like, you know, at least nowadays, it's like, hey, are, are you a 15-year-old white girl who likes horses and Lisa Frank? Well, hey, take this Taylor Swift CD. You can, you can hold hands with a nice Mormon boy and, I don't know, lose your snuggle virginity while watching Toy Story 3. <laughs> Or it's like, wait, are, are, are you a 14-year-old bisexual with a bunch of multicolored bracelets? Well, why don't you listen to this Lady Gaga album? You can, you can shock the world when you take your girlfriend to the spring formal. There you go! <laughs> but I feel like my generation's music didn't quite make sense. Because it was something like, hey, I'm a 15-year-old white girl who likes horses. Yeah, you suck a dick yet? <laughs> what? Here's what you're going to do. You're going to listen to this Britney Spears album, then you're going to put on a schoolgirl uniform, kneel on a skateboard, and blow the lacrosse team. <laughs> then, every day handsome, at school... Though. You could listen to Hanson. <laughs> <laughs> There's three of them right there, so... Same results. Versus the one. <laughs> then, every day at school, the kids will call you Dutchie because all the boys pass you on the left-hand side. <laughs> Oddly enough, in order to get that joke, you aren't familiar with any of this generation's music. That's kind of a weird one. <laughs> um, we have a lot of weird things here in Savannah, and uh, one thing I saw lately in the paper, like, they have a lot of left-wing stuff, like, you can get gluten-free, whatever, organic this, whatever, a lot of different, you know, like, prenatal yoga, all that. And I forgot how specific some of the stuff they have here is. Like, they have Gay Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> or, as they say, it's a Gay AA. Or if you say it like I do, yeah. Gay! Too many apple teenies is really Yeah. <laughs> but I was thinking, like, you know that there's got to be some Rick Santorum supporter showing up to one of those at some point going, hey, is, is this the meeting for gays in recovery? And they'll be like, yeah. It's like, okay, um, hello, my name is Steven, and it's been three months since I sucked a dick. <laughs> um, God, it's been a struggle. Um, I walked by Express for Men the other day, and I composed myself. Um, did I... I I couldn't divert my gaze from Abercrombie and Fitch, but I'm getting stronger, and uh, we're taking it one day at a time. In the boat. <laughs> Here we go. That was like an alley oop for you. That was. Hello. With the like Scotty Pippen with the pass. Damn it! That means I wasn't in Space Jam. <laughs> I wanted to be by 
Jam. Well, no, if I was Scotty Pippen with the pass, you would have been. Oh, that wasn't Space Jam. Yeah. Bye. You don't know basketball. You could have been Bill Murray if you really wanted to. Well, either way, yeah, I, I, Bill Murray was in Space Jam. Was, he was in Space Jam. Bugs Bunny. Bunny. You know who else was? Bugs Bunny. That's right. <laughs> America. The best part about getting a layup from Bill Murray to, to do the dunk is right after he gets done saying it, he'll say, and no one will ever believe this happened. <laughs> wow, I didn't even expect him to get that one. Um, <laughs> So, uh, Brie Olsen did Playboy not too long ago. Did anyone know about that? Yes. Brie Olsen. <laughs> uh, no, that adult film star Brie Olsen did Playboy. And here's the thing. When I say adult film star, I don't mean like, you know, she, she did some amateur stuff back in the day, like Kim Kardashian. I mean, she does the kind of films where it's just like, oh, you and your three friends have nothing to do? That's, that's so convenient, because I have a mouth. So, <laughs> That's taking a step back, though. That's like yeah, but like no. Here's the thing. Okay. That's like taking the emotion at your work. Yeah. But okay. Looking, looking at pictures of Brie Olsen in Playboy, it's like watching Michael Phelps in a in like a bathtub, <laughs> just sitting there with water wings on. It's just like hey, I'm the Olympics and TV's Michael Phelps. I'm going to make you think about things that I'm good at doing, but I'm not actually going to impress you in any way, shape, or form. I'm just going to vaguely remind you that I'm talented. <laughs> it's like taking the guys from like Battlefield 3 and then making a video game all about them in boot camp. Yeah. Press X to do a push-up. Yeah. <laughs> Why to be insulted homophobically by your team? <laughs> Come on, Fern! You gotta spin the right stick! Spin the right stick! What's that do? Gets him off. <laughs> your CEO, that is. You gotta please your CEO. <laughs> Continue. Select dialogue option. Cause I got nowhere else to go! <laughs> I just made it like Mass Effect. <laughs> Yeah. That would be kind of weird where it's just like, I don't know. Like, what if you selected the, the wrong dialogue option where it was just like, where you selected the one that was just like reaffirmed the commander? It's just like, oh no, but then I sounded like Richard Gere with a hamster up his ass. That's. It'd be weird if you like, you actually. Because the hamster had nowhere else to go. It'd be weird if you accidentally bartered wrong at the, at the shop and the guy was just was like, you, the best part of you ran down a cracking mama's ass and ended up a brown stain on the mattress. Yeah. Full metal jacket. Fuck yeah, everybody. No, really? <laughs> really? You guys are on the pole. You're jacket jacket my balls. What is wrong with you? Most people don't even know that I, that was actually Richard Gere who said that in the movie I was referencing. And then they missed the hamster joke. Come on! <laughs> I'm angry. Oh, man. Go ahead. We're doing the sex pistols of comedy right now. We don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Scott, you have this on film, right? <laughs> Not the Man. Fonzie of comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Zach Morris of comedy. <laughs> I still love the fact that we had like the Jew with tattoos up here earlier. That's hilarious. <laughs> like you, you realize like Jewish law, like that, like according to them. Yeah, I know. But it's like it's like kind of Jewish, kind of teen punishment. So it's like you have the Tito Ortiz way of getting through things. That's a joke just for me and you. No one else knows the MMA world. I know. I'm just. I'm gonna make Chuck Liddell references all night. Like, Pacquiao. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah. Joe Rogan. <laughs> Jews. 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 Is it really spreading now? Oh wait, that sounded like a bad Jew joke. <laughs> it really did for a moment. Is it really spreading now? Exterminate. Then that goes to a Doctor Who joke. The trick Blair is saying, gets it. Yeah. The, the, trick is saying, the trick with saying the word Jews, like you have to say it like like you're at a surprise party. It's like Jews. Like you can't just be like Jews. Like just, there are good people who you, lend you money every now and then. Like they're not. You can't just sound like a question. Reasonable interest. If you 
maybe yeah. some kind of a question that makes it mean like you, you haven't heard of Jews never before. Jews? <laughs> what are these Jews? Please tell me of what. <laughs> I like to say it like the first time I, I saw so painting, please. I, I like to say it like the first time I saw double stuffed Oreos, it's like shoes! <laughs> I could get used to these. <laughs> and then there were some angry Germans like, no, single stuffed with milk! I stopped having material about three minutes ago. I'm gonna let you guys go. You guys have a nice night. <laughs>